Hi, Jeremy here with 3D Universe. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the unboxing and setup of the new Ultimaker S3 desktop 3D printer. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. The Ultimaker S3 comes in some nice new packaging so that you have these four plastic locking clips that just pop out. And then the lid just lifts off. Inside we have a nice hard copy manual. We have our accessories and materials. This has the two spools of material that comes with it, your spool holder, your power cable, and the uh, filament guide arm. Up here we have some other cardboard packing that we'll just remove. Some foam packaging that also comes off. And then I'll just lift the printer out of here so we can get inside. Okay, let's lift this table up a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, the Ultimaker S3 comes fully assembled like all of their other printers, and uh, it's secured with just a single zip tie around the uh, uh, x-axis rod which we will clip off but first um, as you can see it does now have an integrated glass door which we can open we'll remove the rubber spacer that's on top and inside we'll remove this piece of cardboard to get to our accessories box okay so here we have the second accessory box this has some information about the PVA material. This has our XY calibration sheet and the glass build plate. And then in here we have our other accessories. Let's remove the rest of the foam from here. And we will snip the one zip tie that's in here. Install our glass build plate. There is a little sticker on the front of the glass build plate, a little temperature warning sticker. You want to make sure that that is on the top side facing front. Turn this so you can see a little bit. The glass plate just slides in. Goes into the back clips and then the front clips close on the front. The glass plate is in. Now let's get our spool holder power cable out and the filament guide arm. Flip this around. Okay, so the spool holder just goes right on the back here. Then there's a plastic clip that holds the NFC cable in place and then that plugs into the NFC port on the back. Uh, the filament guide arm goes on the spool itself when you load the material, so we don't need that yet. Now we're ready to go ahead and plug it in and get started. All right, so we've got it plugged in now. We'll go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so now it's taking us through the initial setup wizard and it's very easy. We'll just go through that. The first thing it asks our language. I'm going to select English. Welcome, set up your Ultimaker S3 for first use, start. Change build plate to glass, that's done. We already put the glass plate in. All right, now print core two, load BB.4, which is exactly what we want to do. So click start there. It's getting itself positioned. It's going to prompt us to insert that print core. So now it says open the fan bracket. The new touch panel uh, display gives us nice video and uh, photo prompts where needed to show us exactly what needs to be done. So in this case, it's showing us to open this fan bracket for the print cores. Go ahead and confirm. Now insert the print core. So I've got my BB.4 print core here. I'll just open the door and insert that print core. Confirm. I'm going to close that bracket. Okay. 
Okay, and now it's prompting us to load materials, starting with material number two. Uh, in case you're not familiar with the Ultimaker 3 series or the S5 with the dual spool holders, you want to load one material at a time so that the NFC chips can be properly detected so that it knows what kind of material you're loading. If you try to put two new spools on at the same time, the printer will not be able to detect which one you're trying to load. So you do one and then the other one in order to ensure proper detection. So we're going to start with the PVA. They give you an extra bag for the PVA so that you can keep it sealed so that it doesn't pick up too much moisture. You always want to make sure to straighten out the end of your filament a little bit because it can be a little bit curved when it comes off the spool and it'll be easier to feed through when it's straightened out a bit. Now we're going to go ahead and put this onto the spool holder in the back. I'll turn this around so you can see that. So we want this on the inner position. And you want it positioned so that the filament is coming off this direction so that it comes around to the second feeder. I'm going to feed it up into that feeder. Now, you can follow the prompts on the front of the printer when you do this, or what I like to do is just lift up this tension lever here, feed it right on up through, and then flip the tension lever back down. And now we can just go ahead and confirm on the front. Now it said place the new spool, which we've already done, so I'm confirming that. Now it's detecting the spool. and it detects it as PVA natural, so confirm. Insert material, I've already done that, so confirm. Now you could just follow through these steps and, and go step by step as it says. As I showed you, I like to do that little time-saving procedure. It's now loading the material, so it's heating up the print core, and then it's going to feed that material through for us. So now it just moved the material all the way forward, very close to the nozzle, and it's now moving it very slowly. And we want to just wait until it starts to extrude out of the nozzle. And once we see that material coming out, we'll let it go for a few seconds so that we know that it's moved any material that was left in the nozzle from testing and that it's coming out nice and cleanly. And then we'll go ahead and push the confirm button on the touch panel to tell it that it's ready. can see some black material coming out there. That's because of what they used to test the print core at the factory. So I'm going to wait until it's coming out clear so that I know that it's all PVA that's extruding. Okay, that's looking pretty good now. It's coming out nice and clean, so I'll press confirm. Get rid of that extra filament. And now it says material one, load tough PLA black. That's the other spool that it came with. So let's open this box. Same procedure here, I want to straighten the end out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to flip the printer around. And just like with the PVA material, we want to make sure that we're loading this in the right direction. So in this case, we want the material coming off this way so that it's coming over towards feeder one, off the bottom of the spool. And so we want to put this filament guide arm on first, just like this, goes on the spool like that. Feed your filament through the guide hole there. And then that slips over the spool holder on the printer, kind of locks into place just like that. And we'll feed this up. I'm lifting the tension lever here, and then flip the tension lever back down. You'll notice that I moved it all the way through the feeder so that it's about two inches out on the top. Now I can go ahead and proceed with my loading. So it says start. It's preparing. Now it says place the new spool, which I've already done. Confirm. It's now detecting that second material, and it says tough PLA black, so I'll confirm that. 
Now it says insert the material, which I've already done. At this point you would feed it into the feeder if you wanted to follow the instructions, but I find this to be a time-saving approach. Now it's loading that material through, so as soon as it heats up the print core it will move that second material up through into the extruder. Okay, same as last time, we're going to wait. Now you'll notice on the front screen it says there's a confirm button. You don't want to push that right away, just like last time. We want to wait as that extrudes slowly and pushes out any material that was left in the print core from testing. So you don't want to confirm right away. If you push that now, it'll stop the loading process prematurely because it hasn't fully cleaned out the nozzle. So we want to let that go. It's starting to come out now but I want to let it go for a while to make sure that it's pushed out the material. There was some, looks like some silver material that was in there from testing and now it's starting to come out black. So I'm just going to let it go for a moment to make sure that it's fully cleaned out. It's looking pretty good now, so I'll go ahead and now push confirm and get rid of that excess material. Okay, so now both materials are loaded and it is prompting us for the network setup. So this is where we can configure our Wi-Fi or hardwired network connection. Go ahead and click next. Let's see, we'll do Wi-Fi setup. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip that for the moment um, just to save some time here and I'll come back and do that later. So there is a skip button. And at this point it's telling us setup is complete. Let's print. Now, optionally, if you'd like to, you can do the XY calibration. Uh, everything is calibrated from the factory, but if you want to play it safe, you can run through the XY calibration. That's what this sheet here is for. And we already have another video on our YouTube channel that shows you exactly how that XY calibration procedure works. So feel free to check that out. Again, that's not a necessary step. Everything is fully calibrated and ready to use right from the factory. So you can just start to load your next print and get going right out of the box. Well, there you have it, the new Ultimaker S3. As you can see, it's really easy to get set up and working right out of the box. I hope you'll check out our website to learn more and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see future videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.